I'm having trouble ranking Garrett Wilson this week, who is only in two games, but he's the wide receiver 11 by average points over the past three weeks. Uh, one of those big games was against the Patriots, six catches for 115 yards. The Jets were in point chase mode. Uh, amount of Zach Wilson volume in that game, the Jets just like never want to repeat usually. Now they're coming off by, I feel like we could see Elijah Moore re-involved in the offense. Like maybe like he's learned his lesson, quote unquote. I actually don't know Corey Davis's status. Uh, do you, Kyle? Day to day. Still day to day. He's got a chance to play, but I don't. we don't have like a strong update yet. So like where in the world do we rank Garrett Wilson? Who I, you know, I thought like was getting left behind because um, the Jets were doing everything they could to hide Zach Wilson, but they just had, have had no choice but to get him more involved. And yeah, I just don't know where he's so talented with a bunch of really good games on, on the page. I just don't know where to put him. Where did, do you, are you guys have him in the top 24? I will put him Probably there. Close. Yeah. I have his wide receiver 21 right now, which okay. feels that's very preliminary. It feels high, but I have him as the wide receiver 21. I mean, the last game we saw him, he had like a 36% target share. It was against a great defense and he still got home. He's clearly, I guess maybe if we get Corey Davis back, I actually would be a little concerned because Corey Davis was also having a strong season before he went down. So I'd be a little concerned with that. I'm not concerned with Elijah Moore. I will say this. Yeah, I'm not concerned about him either. Like, show me you wouldn't even put him on the field first. Yeah, they play Denzel Mims over him and they hate Denzel Mims. Yeah. They do. They're coming off by, though. I could feel like maybe it'd be a time if you're going to get someone re involved, it would be a good time to get Elijah Moore re involved. They need uh, him. Uh, Garrett Wilson. So against the Buffalo Bills, eight catches for 92 yards. You're like, okay, that's a okay, that's a solid game. But the way he was after the catch, when he made some of those catches, they were timely in at a point where the team absolutely needed it. So like he that dude. So to have him inside the top twenty four is nothing. I don't care if. Zach Wilson throw for 130 yards. Garrett Wilson gonna get 98 of them. <laughs> like I, I like seeing how he was like, almost like it was like we don't know what to do. Throw the ball to Garrett Wilson, and he catch the ball, make a guy miss on a third and long, which we know the Jets with Zach Wilson right now having trouble converting, but he was making it happen uh, after the catch. So. I got I got faith in him to make things happen just by getting the ball in his hand. I will say I'll probably drop him out of the top twenty four if Corey Davis plays though. Um, he is truly day to day. Seems like he might play coming off the bye. Um, we shall see. I, I want I want Garrett Wilson to be in the top twenty four. I will tell you that Lawrence like badly want because he's a top twenty four level player. Like no questions. I mean, you, you got uh, who we got out this week? Tyreek Waddle. Some uh, others, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf. Are uh, yeah. out. Um, the Bucks guys lot... coming back from Germany. Yeah, yeah, the Bucks guys are out. So those there's... are all of the, all six of those is top twenty four dudes. Yeah, so there, there's that's man. I'm telling you, and Jamar Chase might not play. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one. Cooper like, Cup out. Wide receiver, yeah, is is crazy this week. Uh, have you have you done your rank? Have you done your preliminary rankings yet, Kyle? Um, like it's crazy. No, I'll do them probably tonight or maybe tomorrow morning it's yeah we're, we're maybe i'll put it off though if it sounds like it's that bad yeah, yeah we're, we're hurting no <laughs> you, you don't want to see it yeah yeah we, we are we are hurting at why lawrence have you, have you done you've done your prelim ranks haven't you yeah who do you i'm just gonna throw out a random number who do you have at wide receiver 14 wide receiver 14 i that's have... equinemius st brown in fact <laughs> I got Debo and Ayuk at 13 and 14 right I now. I have them very similar too. And like, yeah, I have 12 and 14 for them right now. Wow. Who, who's your wide receiver 17? 17. I'm changing this right now. It's <laughs> definitely not going to be Deontay Johnson. I'm, well, I'm telling you, man. You I might put him. Gabe Davis right there. I ha I do have Gabe. I, Gabe is my wide receiver 17. Sutton's my wide receiver 16. Uh, and which is because Judy probably Judy don't Judy play. Started. Yeah, so you kind of have to put Sutton back right there, otherwise Michael, we yeah. wouldn't. Michael Pittman, wide receiver, fifteen. I mean, I'm just not liking any of this. I have Chris Olave in the top twelve. Or I don't even really want to say Chris Olave. Is, I know last week didn't go well. I, again, I, I, things that don't make me upset are just jamming Chris Olave in every spot and getting burned for it. It didn't <laughs> bother me. It didn't <laughs> Sunday, up until that point, 
he was absolutely dominating. That's not you don't have to feel bad about putting him top twelve. He's a good top twelve. Well, it's, it's also because I think we're getting Jameis back, folks. I think it's happening. Um, he was still getting all the targets, all the air yards with Jameis. Like he's he can win with anyone. He's he's so good. He can, but he's going to get even more air yards with Jameis than he was yes. with Andy Dalton. So, Jameis, uh, please, please play this week. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So, either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, Please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.